Upland High School, where he placed second in the CIF section championship his senior year in 1971. He also placed first in the U.S. Wrestling Federation National Greco-Roman Championships in 1970. He attended the University of Alabama, where he was a four-year letterman. Russ began his coaching at Upland High School in 1976, and he coached there through 1978. However, due to the passage of the Jarvis Gann Act, many schools had to make staff cuts. Since he was a young rookie coach, he was one of the cuts, the unfortunate cuts that had to be made. This, my friends, has resulted in a big loss to California and a big win for Brandon High School in Florida. Listen to some of these statistics Russ has achieved during his 27 years of coaching at Brandon High School in Florida. This year's team record was 19-0. Brandon's winning streak is 439 duels without a loss. The longest winning streak in the history of high school sports. Brandon was the 2007 state championship team, the seventh straight state championship in a row, and the 17th state championship overall. At the state tournament, his teams have 17 first, three seconds, one third, two fourths, and so on. This includes 61 state champions and 92 state placers. Russ's dual meet record at Brandon is 384 and 0. His overall coaching record is 400, and, 400 wins and 12 losses. He must have got fired for losing those 12. Huh? <laughs> His teams have won 27 district titles, 26 regional titles. The average margin of victory in a dual meet is 69.3 points. He had nine shutout victories this year. Consecutive pins in a tournament were 17. Most pins in a tournament were 44. Over 27 years, Brandon defeated nine teams, 84 to nothing. Some might think Brandon is in the easy league. Well, let's hear what this team has done at the National Junior Tournament in Fargo, North Dakota. This is the premier high school tournament held each summer in Fargo. In 2005, Brandon set a national record at the Fargo Junior Nationals by placing the most finalists from one high school, eight finalists. And they had five Greco-Roman champions and three, free, three freestyle champions. He has coached 80 current or former club athletes to individual national championships in folk style, freestyle, and Greco-Roman wrestling. These are some of the outstanding records. Russ, you have to be very proud of what you've done. Russ also has continued to participate in wrestling, earning seven championship titles in the world's veteran freestyle wrestling competition. He also won the Veterans USA National Freestyle Championship eight times. And he has also won numerous Coach of the Year awards. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame for 2007, Mr. Russ Kosar. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to thank the com Can you hear it, Gina? No? Hello? Can you hear it now? One, two? Okay, I'll just lean over and talk. I'd like to thank the California Hall of Fame for considering me for a great honor. Uh, it's, it's very humbling to, to be in maybe the greatest state of wrestling in the United States and be a part of it. And I've, I've always felt that way. Uh, I'd like to thank my family for being here. My lovely wife, Gina, uh, gave me two great sons that uh, are also wrestlers. Uh, my family that's here, uh, and um, it, it's, it's just a great honor to be here. Uh, it's true that we have a, a lot of records at, uh, at Brandon High School, and I did kind of get away. Um, when, I, when I started out, and I always wanted to be a coach, when I was a junior in high school, I said, I want to go somewhere, and I want to coach for about 30 years. <laughs> and, and, and I want to I stay at one place. 
and I, and I want to be there. I want I want to add something to the community. Well, I've been coaching 31 years now, and I think I got maybe about 10 more years left in me. So, uh, and I and I wish it would have been Upland, uh, but it, it it didn't work out that way. But I found a great place in Brandon, Florida. Brandon High School is a great place, and uh, I had a a great beginning in Upland, California. A great town to grow up in, uh, and. I had a great high school coach, George Beresford, uh, who inspired me a lot. And uh, the one thing about growing up in Upland, growing up in SoCal, if I can drop that, is that there was always Greco-Roman, there was always freestyle, there was always folk style. It was the, it was the greatest backdrop for, for, for a, a beginning coach. Uh, if I wasn't wrestling in a Greco-Roman tournament, I was wrestling in a freestyle tournament. And uh, I, I, it was uh, a camelot of wrestling for me. I mean, it, it, I could wrestle every weekend. I probably put in 150 matches a summer when I was young, and it, and it just helped me get going. And uh, uh, George taught me when I when I uh, uh, started wrestling. George was a thinking coach. Uh, he, he didn't believe in in uh, guys banging their heads against walls or going out and muscling people. He, he, he always uh, taught us that, you know, you could kind of dance around him and outsmart them. And he brought his Pennsylvania wrestling to California and it just catapulted me and I just ate it up. And at that time I was ready, I was ready to be a wrestler. I had done a lot of other things and he was exactly what I needed. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I did my thing at, at Upland and then I moved on to Brandon and, and we've done all these things. and. Uh, uh, it's humbling a little bit, but uh, I've enjoyed every bit of it. I enjoy being a coach. I enjoy working with kids. Um, uh, I, I formed, when I, when I got to Florida and I looked around, I said, well, where's the elementary wrestling? And there was no elementary. Where's the junior high? There was no junior high. So I had to start a club, and I started a club 27 years ago of little kids. And, uh, and my wife will attest to this. Sometimes, uh, you know, I don't come home. Uh, I'm not home a lot, but um, I have a year-round kid, a, a year-round kids wrestling program, and I still do it. And I've been doing it for 27 years. And um, uh, in the high school season, when I kick the high school guys out, I'll bring the little guys in. And uh, I've had some great wrestlers, and and it, it's it's great to walk in and see 40 little guys just running around. And you just blow the whistle, and they just line up, and then you send them through their drills. And and I love coaching, and I love. I love, I love trying to be a leader, and uh, it, it, it's just a great thing. And uh, I have a bunch of great little kids. Uh, we excel at freestyle, we excel at Greco, not because of, of what I have, what I did go through, or what I have gone through, it's what I've learned. I, I always try to be a student of the sport. I, I watch the films, I try to analyze them, and I try and pass them on to the kids. And. Uh, and ending, I, I, again, I'd like to thank the committee for uh, inducting me, and, and it's just a great honor to be in front of all you great California coaches and referees, and uh, to honor me in my home state. Thank you very much. Good.